Joining me on Bus Express today from the New South Wales RTBU Tram and Bus Division is Secretary Chris Preston and President Gary Wade. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in today. Morning. Chris, we'll start with you. Last week, the union's dispute with STA over <coughs> casuals and part-time brokens was back in front of the Industrial Relations Commission. Where are things up to? Yeah, we spent three days down before the Industrial Relations Commission in, in what's a very uh, serious and, and vital dispute. That is the use of casuals and part-time brokers before full-time operators. Um, I, I'm pleased to say that I don't believe we put a foot wrong down mm -hmm. at the Commission, but it's um, now deliberating before Justice staff. Like any of these things, you, you really don't know until the answer comes, comes out. I would like to congratulate our, our team of lawyers. That's Igmar Taylor, Oshi Fragir and Peter Halen. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't put a foot wrong. And for the members who turned up during the, the uh, proceedings, I thank you for coming down. It, it shows the, the Commission that you are very serious about this particular dispute. Uh, hopefully we'll have an answer in about a month's time and it goes our way. Absolutely. Uh, Gary, Premier O'Farrell recently announced that the government would start charging workers $80 to receive the Working With Children cheque. What does this mean now for drivers? The, Emily, this is just another unfair burden from the New South Wales government on, on workers. Uh, our members have been participating in these cheques for years. Uh, we, we're very proud to do so, but there's, there's never been any charge. Uh, all of a sudden now they're asked to pay $80 up front to, ha to have this check done. It's just, just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Any initiative that keeps children safe, we, we proudly support, but this is just a, a grab for cash. So what, uh, what's being done from your point of view? From our point of view, uh, we, we quickly realised that this will affect thousands of workers right across the state. We presented the, uh, the problem to Unions New South Wales. Mm -hmm. I went and spoke on it at Labor Council a few Thursdays ago. And since then, uh, Unions New South Wales, to their credit, has, has taken up the fight and uh, a dispute with the government has commenced and we'll keep members informed about where that goes. Chris, I understand bus drivers too are often exposed to violent or abusive passengers when they're simply trying to do mm. their job. But I gather the situation has seriously deteriorated at one depot in particular. Can you tell me a little bit about the situation at Monovale? Yeah, unfortunately, Emily, we've got a very serious situation unfolding out there. We have. Well, there's no other way to describe it, but a gang of youths terrorising the bus operators at Motorvale Depot. They've been spitting on the bus operators, abusing them, threatening their families. Recently, these gang of youths have been to Motorvale Depot, with the most recent event resulting in Motorvale Depot being in lockdown for 20 minutes and the police called. Now, what concerns me even more is State Transit's reaction to this. Instead of getting involved and trying to tackle the situation, which is these, these youths, they're actually disciplining the drivers. Now, I call on State Transit to, uh, to, to obviously get out there and do what they need to do, and that's protect its workers. Every worker has the, has the right to go to work and come home safe. And that, at the moment, looks very shaky out at Monovale Depot. So I call on, sta I call on the managers out there to, to step up to the plate and protect its workers. So, okay, Chris, what would you like management to do? Yeah, what I expect management to do in the short term at least is to have security guards on all the L90 services from 7 o'clock onwards at night. Uh, that's in and out of the city because the problem is at DY, Monovale and Avalon. So in the very short term, I expect security guards on those buses protecting its workers, my members. Okay, on a, on a lighter issue, Gary, I hear that your members are pretty busy at the moment up in Newcastle supporting the Special Olympics there. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, Newcastle buses uh, were awarded a, a very important charter for the Special Olympics. And uh, as, as the time got closer, uh, management were concerned that the popularity of, of these Special Olympics uh, would mean that, that they were particularly stretched. Uh, they consulted with the union, who consulted with our membership at uh, Hamilton and Belmont depots. Mm -hmm. And they, our members there, uh, I'm proud to say, they stepped up to the mark and, and offered to do 12 hour shifts and work all, on all their days off to ensure that there were enough buses uh, to make this uh, event a success. So we're very proud of those members at the moment. Absolutely. Well, thank you both for coming in and we'll see you in a couple of weeks for our Christmas edition. Thank you. Thank you.